Dave here from PowerInverters.com. We received a technical question today that I'll be answering in this video. Uh, the customer is inquiring that he has a 1.4 cubic foot dual function fridge freezer. Uh, he's interested in a 1500 watt power inverter and he wants to know if it'll run without any issues. Uh, he lists in his question that the startup amperage is 5.8 and the continuous is 0.8 which gives him about a startup wattage around 700 and a continuous around 90 to 100. Uh, he's also concerned if a pure sign inverter might be required or if a modified sign will work just fine. Uh, and then he also has some cabling questions. Um, he wants to know if what type of gauge he'll need from inverter to battery and what type of gauge cabling he'll need from the front output of the inverter to the actual fridge itself. Um, the first part would be the uh, pure sign versus the modified sign. Modified sign wave power inverter should work fine with the freezer. They won't affect the lifespan or the quality of the functionality of the product. Um, the compressor inside will work fine with a modified sine wave inverter. With these fridge freezers, it's not too sensitive and it won't cause much of an issue at all. They'll actually function in ranging output voltages between 110 and 120 without any issue. It won't need that smooth wave of electricity that's held constant that might cause certain equipment to not function properly. Uh, as far as the gauge cabling from the battery to the inverter itself, he's looking to do an approximate six foot installation. Uh, for six feet, uh, he'd probably want to stay somewhere between four and six gauge at the, at the max for the cabling. Uh, if he can get a two or zero, it'll always function better, but I mean with 1500 watts of power with a 700 watt startup, even at 6 gauge, it should run without any issues. As far as the cabling from the output of the inverter to the actual fridge freezer, uh, just about any standard cabling will work fine. If it's able to handle 120 volt current, it should be okay. For example, any standard extension cord, even up to 20 feet, which is what he's inquiring, should work without any issues. He also inquired if an inline fuse would be uh, smart to put into the system. We always recommend putting an inline fuse, but it's never required. An inline fuse will just make your life a little bit easier. If, for example, there is a surge of power and a fuse does blow, it's a lot easier to change an inline fuse on the outside of the system than open up the interior of the system and change one of the interior component fuses, which might take a little bit more time and a little bit more effort, and then having to put back the inverter together. Okay, well hopefully this video was helpful. Um, we went through all the different steps of connecting an inverter with a fridge freezer setup. Um, if you have any further questions, please feel free to email us at info at powerinverters.com or if you have another question that you want answered, please feel free to email us. Uh, if this video was helpful, please uh, click the shared button or like button at the bottom. Thanks and have a great day.